What's your I was the only one to get away story. When I was in high school. We had a Guitar Hero tournament. After the whole ordeal was over. Nobody made us actually get rid of the setup that was in an unused room. This lead to a bunch of us always leaving to go to the bathroom and just going to play Guitar Hero. Eventually it evolved into 5-6 Xbox PlayStation setups in the room. One day the principal finally walks in this room and there are upwards of 30 people in there playing video games. He immediately marches us all to the office. I storm out the door to go first with a plan that should never work. I walk up to the office door. Pull it back and hold it for everyone. And then just shut the door behind them and walk off. Somehow nobody noticed that I never went in and I never got in trouble. Nobody else got in real serious trouble. Just some detentions. But still hilarious. I was the only one to get away from my hometown. Even the kids who went to college out of state moved right back. I was one of four in my class who took early graduation, graduated high school with diploma in hand end of January instead of June, even though due to how the school changed class scheduling like 90% of the senior class was eligible. We went from a possible 7 credits a school year to a possible 10. The change happened in our junior year so since we all came in under the old schedule we still only needed the lower credits to graduate. Close bracket. I remember on my last day in January everyone was talking in homeroom like did you take early grad? No. Me either wish I did but I'd miss everyone. Double quote. This was the school. Town. Teachers. Jobs. People they said they utterly detested and couldn't wait to get away from. They're all still there. Now with apartments and kids. Still saying how much they hate it and wish they could move away. Turn up in the school washroom with my friends. With the lights off and music blasting out. People were hanging off the stalls and making as much noise as possible. Teacher comes in and writes our names down. She gets to me and asks have I already written your name and I say yes and walk away. Friends got detention. Apparently someone cracked the mirror in the washroom and no one fessed up so they all went down together. Not me but a friend. This happened 20 plus years ago. Her friends were hanging out and decided to go out for pizza. She headed to the pizza place while the others headed to the other location of same pizza joint. This was before the days of common cell phones. The location that her friends went to. A guy decided to shoot up the place. I'm not sure how many were hit. She was obviously fine because she was at the other location. High school party. One of my first. I was wasted. Throwing up in the basement bathroom when the cops arrived. Eventually they were let inside and stormed into the basement where everyone was hiding loudly with the lights off. With their flashlights beaming down into the dark. I want to say there were at least 30 people rounded up into the living room where they started calling parents. The host of the party saw me sitting on the mantle. Having accepted my fate. She knew my dad would, literally, whoop my ass and sent me out the window. I knocked over the grill on my way out and walked around the back of the house. Through a few backyards. And to the neighborhood pool where I cuddled with some bushes for a few hours. When I saw the last cop finally leave. I sprinted back to the house and knocked on the door to be let in, scaring the sheet out of the three survivors. A few dozen people were charged with underage drinking. As a teen I worked at retail shop with a bunch of other teens. We would regularly fill carts with merchandise and walk them out the front door when management was on break. Cases of beer. Cartons of cigarettes. Perfume. Cologne. Batteries. Compact discs. DR. Skulls you name it we stole it. I got promoted from cashier to customer service counter. A woman came in one day with a severe BTCH face on. I said something along the lines of you don't look like you've had a positive shopping experience or some bullshit. She went off on me. Turns out the BTCH face was a normal face and I'd said the same thing to her every time she came. I didn't remember her, was I most of the time, into the store. That was my third strike and I got fired on the spot. One week later. All my friends were arrested for theft. They had installed hidden cameras throughout and busted everyone except me. 
I was gambling in Vegas on a Friday with friends bachelor party coming up the next day. Playing blackjack mostly just killing time waiting for dinner but the table was on fire. It was a full table shortly after I sat down. I played for a couple hours and the table was all up on money anywhere from $50,000 to $800. The $800 was me. Everyone else was literally up at least 10 grand. It's about 20 minutes before I'm supposed to meet up with someone so I call it and head back to my room so I can shower and change for the night. Head out for dinner and have a good night. The next morning. My buddies call me down to the lobby to meet up. As I get down there. Out of sheer coincidence they are talking to the dealer that was at the table when I left. She says that he is. And points at me. Friends are like no shit. Dot. Turns out. I was the only one that walked away from that table with a dollar to my name. My first house party in college was on Halloween my freshman year. Naturally everyone was in costume and about half the people there were underage. I wasn't drinking. But my friends were. Around midnight an older guy, 40s, walked in dressed as a cop. Me. Being the one of the few sobers at the party. Realized he was an actual cop. I tried to convince my friends to leave but they all said the guy was just in a costume. So I left on my own. I walked right past the cop. Told him to have a good night. And walked home. I found out the next day all of my friends got tickets for underage drinking. Hotboxing a truck with some friends of a friend senior year in an empty parking lot of some park. Already high as fuck. When suddenly the Taco Bell we had gorged on earlier is going up a shit in my bowels and holy shit I need a bathroom. I ran stumbled my way to the public restroom on the other side of the parking lot. I finish and as I'm about to walk out I see what looks like red lights illuminating the entrance. I start losing my shit. I know it's cops and everyone's high as fck. At this point I knew A. My friends are fucked. B. What fck should I do? I retreated in the farthest stall and texted my parents staying I was crashing at some dude's house. Ended up falling asleep in the stall. Woke up the next morning and got another friend to pick me up. Got away. No one ratted me out. And that's how Taco Bell simultaneously destroyed and saved my ass at the same time. I went to a private high school and was part of a group of about 20 people who knew about a tent hidden in the woods behind our school. People would go there and have sx after school. Smoke pot and do hood rat shit. Someone got in trouble and ratted out all of us as an attempt to lessen her punishment. Apparently she was going to be expelled, and on the last day before finals we all got called down to the detention room and the dean told us that they had found drug paraphernalia and weapons, airsoft pistol, and made us all write down everything we know about the tent. And who we've seen at the tent. 19 people ratted out everyone in that room. Including themselves and were given pretty harsh punishments. 3 were expelled. Some were suspended into the next year and the rest got demerits. I wrote down I have no idea what you're talking about. Went and talked to the deans and said the same thing and was off the hook. I'm certain my name was on every list. And I'm sure they wanted to nail me but I denied and I guess they were satisfied with 19 people giving themselves up. It was a night out in college. Just after the club. And loads of people are milling about in the streets. Drunk as fuck. After a few drinks I always get hungry. So I grab one of my friends to go get a pizza. But the four other lads I was with wanted to go home. So they walk down the street to get a taxi. After gorging on some sweet piz. I call my friends to find out where they're headed. To find out they were in an ambulance. As they were getting into the taxi. They got jumped by two rough locals. Wallet stolen. One got bottled across the head. One two teeth knocked out. And another stabbed from ear to chin. Two inches lower and he'd be dead. Court case happening in a few weeks. And the only reason I'm not involved or injured is because I'm always hungry. This one is pretty scary actually. I'm a special contractor for the military, mostly consultation work, and often get posted to forward bases and carriers and such. I can't really divulge what I do. Anyway. I get posted to this large force projecting carrier in the Cold War, 
think South China Sea, when it gets attacked by these retards in a small craft in the littoral zone, which isn't really much of a threat because we have huge guns. Right? Wrong? These assholes were packing special ordnance or something and we only just realized once they'd got too close to use our anti-ship weapons. Of course me being a lowly consultant. I don't have any cut through to the captain. Because he's actually an 08 and thinks he knows fucking everything. Apparently I'm the only one who thinks it would be a good idea to launch smaller craft that can interdict them and keep them at appropriate range. I muster up a few good dudes and engage these rebels ship to ship. In the meantime. These guys managed to blow up the station, somehow, and only I got away in my tie advanced. Had to warp back to the empire like a peasant. Second worst day of my career. Although I did get promoted after that. Not me but a friend was at a house party my senior year of high school. I was on a date that night so I didn't go. The cops showed up and no one could leave because there were cops outside both the front and back doors. Four of my friends ran into the basement and three of them hid under the stairs while my other friend hid in the corner. The cops came downstairs. Looked right past my friend hiding solo and brought the three underneath the stairs up to where few were ticketing everyone. To top it off my buddy waiting like an hour and walked upstairs and the whole place was empty. The house owner had to go down to the station, so he did slam the shizans crashed on the couch. I was underage at a party in college where about 200 people were in a basement with only one exit. The cops came and made everyone leave one by one and take a brief lizard on the way out. I had about 5 or 6 drinks by this point. And they were giving tickets to anyone underage that blew over maybe a zero. Zero two. Me and one buddy went all the way to the back of the basement where there was a sink and chugged water and peed in the corner for the roughly 2 hours it took to breathalyze everyone. We were some of the last people to leave. And had both sobered up enough that we blew zero on the breathalyzer and just drove home. Party got busted when I was in college. Depending on the cops, and usually the time of year, they will generally just tell everyone to go home. And only hand out mips to anyone who is belligerently drunk or carrying alcohol, who's under 21. Well. Drunk me thought it was a brilliant idea to walk out the back with my beer. And I wasn't 21. Well cops aren't stupid. And had someone standing by the back door. I walk out and the cop asks me. Are you 21? I said. Do you think I would be carrying this if I wasn't? And he goes. Alright. Get out of here. I guess this was one of the parties where they handed out mips to everyone. I think if I'd have been running or something things would have went differently. But just walking like nothing was going on. They didn't even card me. This is a little different than what OP asked for but it mostly fits. I was the one to get away with a very embarrassing event. There I was. Sitting in my 9th grade French 1 class just zoning out. At the time I was extremely shy and would die from even the smallest embarrassment. What then happened was a slight adjustment back into my seat as I had been leaning forward and bam. The loudest fucking fart possible. It was heard by absolutely everyone, 32-35 kids, but fortunately was very abrupt and quick. Since the fart didn't drone on and everyone was still stunned I just froze. Knowing that I would soon be caught. I could even feel my face flush bright red which should have been obvious that it was me who dealt it. Surprisingly. Like a miracle from God himself. The few students around me immediately began blaming each other while everyone else laughed. No one pointed at me. One girl says you. That was not me. Another guy says. Hey if it was me then I would just own up to it. Dot. He then turns towards me and. No shit. Asks who was the one that did it. You tell us. I just kinda shrugged my shoulder until the teacher soon calmed down the class. To this day. I still cannot believe how no one thought I did it. TL. Doctor I was the only one to get away with cutting the cheese. In the 7th grade. Me and a friend went back to our old elementary school in May after school to find some 4th and 5th graders who had climbed onto the roof. Being the curious 7th graders we were. We went up on the roof with them by climbing on top of a power box. The elementary school was right next to a huge main road. So on most parts of the roof you could be seen from that road. 
there were five of us. And we had explored just about every part of the roof except for the gymnasium roof when my friend said he was thirsty. I had a dollar. So I rode my bike to the party store just down the street. When I came riding back up the road to the school. I saw a group of two police officers talking to my friends. Turned around and went home. I know one of my friends went down to the station but I don't know about the other three. My friends weren't upset with me for leaving. Went to a house party in high school. The cops showed up and were citing people for underage drinking so I hid my beer in my jacket before this officer swaggered towards me. We're talking about some bullshit and I'm lying my ass off saying I was just seeing what was going on coming home from some made up extracurricular activity blah blah blah. He probably knew I was drunk. But I was being polite and was held together better than my other belligerent peers. In the midst of our conversation my beer drops out of my jacket at our feet. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
I don't hear sirens and I don't see any more people so we all get out and relax back at one of the girls houses for a beer and a few bowls. Not me. But a close friend of mine. Freshman year at university. We're all celebrating a friend's birthday party in my dorm room when Enra overhears me shushing everyone and decides to investigate. The whole dorm room stank of booze. So he came in. Took down names. Had us empty everything out. Etc. Etc. Fast forward to a few weeks later and everyone who was there is getting emails about their upcoming student judicial hearing. All except one. Well call him Jamie Lannister. So Jamie reveals to us that the Rai apparently wrote down the wrong name for him, a miracle since he checked most of our IDs when he was taking names, and instead of having the name Jamie Lannister, it's something more like James Bannister. A change of story on all of our parts. And at our judicial hearing each one of us was asked about this James Bannister who they weren't able to track down. We responded with an already agreed upon story that he was some weird dude tangentially related to our group who more or less followed us up to my room. And that none of us were familiar with his last name. The fucker got off scot-free. My school used to have a trip every year. And in 6th grade we went to Washington D. C. To learn about you. S. History. I've always been known as a pretty quiet guy. And I had never gotten in trouble. On the first day of the trip I was going up to the hotel rooms with 5 other people and 2 kids would stop the elevator and jump out and jump back in at every single floor. There was a kid with anger management issues in the elevator and he started getting really agitated. He ended up punching the 2 people who were elevator hopping and the 2 other people in the elevator tried to intervene while I was just standing in the back. They all got their free time for the rest of the trip taken away, and the kid who started the fight got sent home. Well no one even remembered I was in the elevator. Last night I was playing World of Warcraft. Doing mythic dungeons with two guildmates and a couple of pugs. We were in Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. I was tanking on my main. Pally tank. And the run was going pretty smooth until we got to the last boss. I was on voice chat with my two guildmates and I told them to move far away when the boss spawns fire and to watch the frontal cone when we have to group up for ritual of bones. Long story short. Everybody but me did everything wrong and died like bitches. So I'm sitting there with the boss at 35% health thinking I should probably just go kill myself so we can get a fresh start on the boss. But I decided to be stubborn instead. I engage full badass mode. Played everything perfectly and was somehow managing to outheal the damage the boss was doing to me. When the first ritual started. I just ran through it with bubble. For the second and last ritual. I popped all my remaining CDs and sprinted through it while chugging a health potion. About 3 minutes after the rest of the group died. I finished off the boss solo. One of the DPS claimed he was going to suck my dick. It was pretty intense. Were stories like this not the point of this post?